these are four gts the black one replaces the red one and they have barely anything in common so let's have a closer look at them and i want you guys to tell me which one is your favorite i'm guessing most of you will choose the red one because of its heritage so let's have a look this is the 2005 model looks incredible and it looks just like the 1960s gt40 racing car and look at the headlights i love the details of this car and if you look at this headlight you can see the number 100 in it because this is the year that uh, ford completed a hundred years so this car is very very special for ford and just look at it i mean uh, the gt40 helped uh, ford win their first ever le mans race and uh, this car is also very aerodynamic you have a very large front end uh, that of course has a splitter to suck in air as much as possible so the air goes through and you have radiators here that uh, keep the engine cool and you have fans that channel the air outside through these vents on the uh, car's uh, bonnet then coming to the side you can see the ford gt logo here and you can uh, even see it here on these retro looking wheels i like those wheels so much uh, this uh, door mirror design it's all right but i think it's a little too much interior wise yeah you can find the same old school knobs and buttons uh, on the inside uh, uh, switches as well but i like it it's a little different the engine in this is a 5.4 liter supercharged v8 which makes around 550 horsepower top speed is around 205 miles per hour and uh, 0 to 60 time is under four seconds so this car is insane and uh, i love it i honestly love it it's like a super muscle car it's it's incredible i love the uh, the curves i love the shape but there is one big problem of this car i'll tell you uh, oh yeah this air intake here of course that is uh, on the side and it's designed to suck in air and feed it directly into the engine bay so when you open the door the part of the roof also opens up so that means when you have if you're parked in a tight space you have to really bend down because the door is in your way you can't just sit into it like a regular car it's very awkward and very uh, irritating honestly so that's one issue that i have with this car but uh, overall i really really like it but honestly i would not choose this car if i had the choice i would always always choose this the 2017 version and this looks like a hypercar meets a uh, batmobile meets a fighter jet it is absolutely insane so this 4GT is a special model. This is one of the Studio Series models. It has the gray stripe and it has some exposed carbon fiber bits and pieces. You can see carbon fiber around the front air intake. And that, of course, just like in the red one, sucks in air. And of course, the, uh, the radiators get cool, uh, cool the engine and you know the rest. The headlights in this are insane and look at those that futuristic gt logo that is incredible you have more lines uh basically stripes here that are part of the studio series design package so you can have them in any color that you want now you also have this uh carbon fiber wheel that is of course not uh, there on every car that's also part of the studio series or the carbon series package carbon fiber on the door mirror and on the side skirt as well but one of my favorite features of this car is this. So you have an air intake on the side. Uh, you can see the radiator in, and it's you know just like in the Lamborghini Aventador. But there's also a tunnel in the body. So air goes through this tunnel here that's in between this radiator and the cabin. And, and of course, you have this uh, horizontal wing that of course helps in generating more downforce. So the, all the air passes that passes through the body literally comes out uh all into the back so that is a very unique design so you have two tunnels on either side now the engine in this is a uh 3.6 liter or 3.5 liter uh eco boost engine it's a twin turbo v6 which makes around 647 horsepower this car can do around 216 18 kilometers per hour or sorry miles per hour and uh zero to 60 time is 2.8 seconds and look at these taillights these are in Incredible. So you have a little grill in the middle, of course, for better ventilation and a very clean diffuser because the exhaust pipes are uh, above the diffuser. You have a little grill there, of course, again, to uh, let the hot air out from the engine, from the exhaust, and you get a retractable spoiler. It's all absolutely incredible. I cannot believe this is coming from the same factory that makes cars like the Ford Focus 
Uh, it's incredible. So it's fully retractable. It can act as an airbag as well. Uh, that's one feature that the Ford GT of the past does not have. But this one, it does. Now, there's also a sport mode in the, um, uh, in the new model. So when you activate it, the car actually drops down a couple of millimeters and the spoiler wing comes out at the same time. It, it's an, it looks incredible. I have a video of that as well. So if you want to check out the uh, video of the Ford GT, uh, either one in detail with the interior and everything, you can head on down to the video's description for names and links. You can find more videos there of the Ford Mustang, the Shelby, some classics as well. And uh, let me know which one is your favorite. For more videos of supercars, hypercars, luxury cars, bikes, trucks, just have a look at my channel and you'll find everything.